Good morning. It is just after 515 here. We're getting you ready for your Tuesday. We're starting off like we have been the past couple of mornings. Mild, a little bit humid, and we're in the 70s, and then we'll be warming up quickly. Take a look. We'll get up to about 87 to 88 this afternoon with mostly cloudy skies. These clouds will be upper level, uh, so they're not thick and low level gloomy clouds, but you'll notice some of these through the day and rain chances will hold them at about 20%. So you might see a shower or two as we go through the daytime hours. Uh, we've had a few showers out there this morning. Notice the heaviest of them are down here towards uh, Ship Island and towards the Mississippi Sound here in Louisiana. We've had a few sprinkles and still a few lingering sprinkles right near the lake and up into St. John and St. James Parish, but it's nothing that's going to cause big problems for you. But if you're on 10 there or near Gramercy or Reserve, you might run into an isolated shower. I do see a few showers popping up as we go through the day, but this could be one of our last days where it's not oppressive outside. The humidity this afternoon, I think, is still going to be somewhat manageable. And if you can find some shade, it shouldn't feel too bad if you're going to be sitting outside. Very similar to what we saw uh, for your Monday yesterday. But yes, a few showers will probably develop across the region as we go through the warmer part of the afternoon and then tonight mostly dry, but can't rely a, a shower or two near the lake or the coast, just like we saw this morning. If you're going to be out on the water, watch out obviously for the showers near the sound, but in general rain chances are fairly low and the winds just aren't blowing that much anywhere from two to five knots. More of a northerly wind this morning. This afternoon notice we start to see more of an east and southeast wind and uh, winds just don't pick up much staying under 10 knots most of the day and you can see your chop about one foot seas, so we don't have a big chop out there for any boaters or if you're just getting out in the water. Rain chances will hold them at 20% all the way into the upcoming weekend each day getting a little bit muggier and a little bit hotter and that means we'll probably see a few storms. Now the stormiest weather staying in the Gulf of Mexico upper level low is spinning over us. That will keep most of the storms just to our south, but what will be interesting to see as we go into tomorrow and Thursday is notice there's some spin in here. We could see some low pressure try to develop with this as it slowly moves off towards Florida. Now notice locally we're getting more of a northeasterly component to this. We'll have a few isolated storms, but I think most of this is going to stay just off the coast in the Gulf of Mexico as it drifts off towards Florida. Now why low pressure could try to organize with this towards the end of the week. Remember the Gulf is not very hospitable right now. It's still got a lot of wind shear. There's still quite a bit of dry air shrouded around all over the place. And so if this did try to organize somewhat, probably more of a hybrid low pressure moving towards Florida. But hey, it's a reminder hurricane season. It starts in two days and don't forget we have our eye on hurricane special tomorrow evening at 630 right here on channel four. So the tropics, nothing being highlighted right now, but it wouldn't surprise me if we did see some low pressure. Try to organize off towards Florida by the end of this week. Our seven day forecast. It is going to be warm, almost hot, and I do think we'll be close to 90 degrees by this weekend. All right, let's check in on.